What's up everyone, MacBoy here from MacBoy Productions, and today I'm going to be doing another After Effects tutorial for all of you from what I've learned in the past. Alright, this is another beginner's tutorial, and um, what I'm going to be showing you is a little tips and tricks here and there to become an essential, to become an efficient Mac, or sorry, After Effects user. Alright, so as you can see, I'm in an untitled project. Uh, in After Effects, so let's go ahead and create a new composition. Now I will be using things that uh, if you have no idea about After Effects, you will be get confused. So I will be using some things that you should know uh, through background knowledge. So make a new composition, I'm just going to leave it at Comp 1 and my uh, settings are 12 meter by 720 pixels. Alright, click OK and this is my main uh, composition area. Alright, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to import a footage a uh, very small footage of me and my friend doing some Kamehameha things with, um, you know, for some tracking video that I wanted to use with motion. So I'm just going to import that into my composition, leave it there. Alright, now the very first thing that uh, most users do when they're in After Effects, uh, before I go any further, I just want to show you this video so you guys don't mess up. And there you have it. So that's me and my friend doing some Kamehameha things that I was going to use with Motion uh, uh, earlier on and make a video on that, which I have. If you want to check that out, link in the description, check that out. All right. Anyways, the first thing that most, most people do in After Effects once they import an image or video is they resize it. And in After Effects and even in Photoshop, when you're resizing something or you're scaling something down, it's really hard to keep it the proportions that it came with, meaning you can really screw things up when you're moving around um, the object like this. So a small tip that works with all Adobe programs is holding down the shift key. So just click on this and hold shift and it's gonna keep the proportions to scale uh, instead of you screwing around like that. Again, just click on it, hold shift and it's gonna keep the proportions as they were originally. And it's a very unique, very nice tip that you can use in all Adobe programs. It comes very handy. Uh, instead of you again moving it all around and messing it up. All right, another tip that you have to remember or you have to know in order, in order to be a good After Effects user is the word traps. Um, in animation, what you do is you the five main uh, aspects of anim animation are opacity, the rotation, anchor point, position, and the scale. And it can all again you can remember all this through the word traps. Basically, if you hit all five of those keys by holding shift, uh, which is the letters on your keyboard, should all of them should come up right here. Anchor point, position, scale, rotation, and opacity. Now tr try to remember, O, opacity, is for the letter T. No. So if you hit the letter T, opacity will come up. All right, it's kind of odd because that's the only one that doesn't start with the letter T. But if you think of opacity, that's how you can remember it. All right, R is for rotation. A is for anchor point, P is for position, and S for, is for scale. If you remember those, it can be much, much easier instead of you going down in the thing, uh, in the drop down menu, in a, and then going to transform, finding the one you want, and using it. Just hit those keys on your keyboard. Very, very simple. All right, so say I'm gonna make this little animation. Uh, I'm gonna make this video clip uh, move from left to right. Very, very simple, very, very small. Out. Uh, animation. What you're going to need to do is click P for position on your keyboard and that what this will do is bring up the position uh, option where you can sh change uh, the properties of that option. Now say you want to start from all the way on the left of the uh, main canvas and you want it to come in like that just a swoosh from left to right. Really simply what you're going to do is you're going to hit this time stopwatch beside position and what this will do it will tell After Effects to create a keyframe at that point basically what a keyframe is is it stores data that it uh, that says the position of that object basically right here uh, it says negative 564 and then 346 it's essentially telling you the pixels from the top left corner where that anchor point is now, if you move in time, say if by 15 seconds or by 15 frames, you want this video clip at the end of it. And all you're doing, all you're going to have to do is just click, hold, and drag like I'm doing. And that little line will come up just like that. 
once you click held and drag duh, and let go that's basically it it will cre create another keyframe at the end of it uh, uh, with its, with the new data properties of 1880 and then 352 so if you watch it it looks a little something like this very fast moving from left to right that's the same thing applies to any other property in traps so rotation all right all right see it's over here all right and I want you're gonna hit the stopwatch sorry you're gonna move this the time indicator into the, to the first frame hit the stopwatch once the, f the video reaches around in the middle what you can do is you can hit you can scrub through the option to make it vertical if you would like and this is how it's going to look there you have it and again the same thing with all the other ones in traps that's basically it guys thanks a lot for watching uh, keyframes shift click and traps again thanks a lot for watching guys don't forget to rate comment and subscribe this has been another after effects tutorial from macbook productions and i will see every single one of you next time right here on macbook productions peace